Dimension style, the fit tab. Let's go up to our annotate tab, go to the dimensions panel, and let's go and pick on our dimension style. We're going to go to our mechanical inch. Currently, it's what we're uh, doing, and we're going to modify that. We're going to go to the fit tab. Now, all these options are for when there's a very tight congested drawing and there isn't enough room to get both the text and the arrowheads in between the, the extension line. So here I have an extension line, extension line, and there's just not enough room to get in here. So what did you tell AutoCAD to do? Well, I like to go in this order. You tell AutoCAD to say, put in the text or arrows, whatever the best fit is. You could tell just to put only arrows in. You could tell just to put text in. You can tell to put both text and arrows in. And you can always keep the text in between the lines. And sometimes you just don't have room for that. So you can also say suppress the arrows if they don't fit in the extension lines. So depending how congested or tight it is, I recommend you start at the top and you go downwards. Uh, to f meet your needs if it's a very small intense drawing if you're a very large drawing it you don't have a problem it's just leave it here where do you place the text so if the text is not in this default position where do you place it so beside the dimension line is we'll put it over here to the side of the dimension line if I say over the dimension line with a leader we will draw a leader line out and so you can follow the text follow the leader down to the dimension I like that uh, scenario over the dimension without a leader I do not like that so that means the text is just moved out and when the viewer reads the drawing they have no idea what that number is or where it's associated with so I I like beside the dimension line uh, but I also go with over the dimension line with a leader. Not fond on over the dimension line without a leader. The scaling for dimension features, if we're using annotative scaling, which we'll use in the AutoCAD 2 class, then we can check this on. But that's not until the, towards the end of AutoCAD 2 class. When we check that on, then I can annotate that, use annotative scaling. I could also scale the dimensions to the layout, which is in paper space layout, which is what we'll use in AutoCAD 2. But I could also use an overall scale factor. In my overall scale factor, if I'm doing a drawing of one to two or half scale, my scale factor is two. If I'm doing an architectural drawing as a quarter inch equals a foot, I want to use my scale factor, which is, I always tell my students, how many quarter inches are there in a foot? And that is 48. And so I would put 48 in here. And what that does, it multiplies the, this times all the different settings in this dialog box. So I don't have to go around manually changing all these values. I can just multiply times 48 and multiply times everything. It's a one-stop shopping if you're using a large scale. So if it's one to one, we use one. Otherwise, we use our, our drawing scale factor. Fine tuning. Fine tuning is when we manually want to alter the placement of the dimension text. So when I say place the text manually, it's going to be up to you to actually position the text on every single dimension. That's time consuming, and I don't think it's, it's kind of cumbersome. Not really worth it. Uh, you can draw the dimension lines between extension lines. So in this case, you draw the dimension lines. So um, you know you can place the dimension lines inside the extension lines, even if the text and arrowheads are outside. Um, again, I think this is too time consuming and not worth it. Most uh, companies don't prefer this appearance. so. Uh, I would leave these off unless you absolutely need to do this. So this whole area is when you have a very congested, this whole tab is when you have a congested drawing, very tight, small dimensions, in which it's very difficult to get both the arrowheads and the dimension lines in between the extension lines. This is what you use to manipulate that.